So this happened New Year's Eve, and I failed to report on it just because I've gotten a little bit uh, desensitized to it all. But these aren't four American landmarks getting struck by lightning. It's an earth discharge. You can see the lightning is forking upwards, not downwards. And I've covered this a few times in other videos. Here it says, the Capitol Building, the Washington Monument, and the Empire State Building were struck. I'm not sure what the fourth one is. Here I covered the same thing happening 10 months ago to the Empire State, I'm sorry, the Statue of Liberty. But something else interesting. Lots of people discussing the Statue of Liberty being struck by lightning, but no, that's not what this is. The statue was the conduit for a global energy release, which can be seen here. It's not a cloud to ground strike, that's an upward strike, an earth discharge as you can see the energy forking upwards. Folks, the approximately 2,000 papers we have seen on electromagnetic signals before earthquakes are describing the release of energy from the ground in the days and hours before an earthquake. That's what this is. This is a video that I made nine months ago, and you can see the same thing is happening here. Lightning is coming upward out of this volcano, and uh, it's a 15-minute video, and it's titled Plasma Burned Cows and Earth's Electrical Discharge. I also cover part of the story is where this guy's cows are getting burned. So I'll leave the link in the description so you can watch that. He talks about how uh, it is something that, uh, that is very slow. It starts off with nothing but a slight tingle in the fingertips. So this guy could feel the electricity on his farm and his cows were getting burned. His cows were showing burn marks. So he had to move the cows to a different place, to a different pasture. Because he could no longer keep them there. And here's a little tongue-in-cheek joke being put out by Utah FireSense, a public service announcement brought to you by Zeus. Zeus here, god of thunder, inventor of fire. Look, fire's one of my most epic creations. Great for camping, cooking, smiting people, but it doesn't belong on the roads. Trailer chains like these can spark a wildfire if you let them drag. So just make sure they're all tightened up. Otherwise, you really are gonna be on the highway to Hades. Secure your trailer chains. Use your fire sense. Hey, bro, tighten those chains. The tongue-in-cheek joke is that it's something more like Zeus causing these fires than dragging trailer chains. This one over there in Cleveland, they, they blamed on irresponsible smoking. Yeah, someone flicked a cigarette butt, and that's what caused this. It wasn't a cigarette butt, and it's not dragging tire chains or trailer chains. It's more like Zeus bringing these fires. That's the tongue-in-cheek joke. I'll also link in the description this music video that was put out three years ago by The Doors YouTube channel. And it's, uh, it's the song Riders on the Storm, but there's a different video that goes with it that incorporates the electricity and the fire. Here you can see she's crucified like Jesus to the electrical power lines. And lightning is striking all around behind her and she breaks loose from the ties that bind her wrist to the power lines and walks off the power pole. You can see the lightning striking up into the left of her head. It's striking all throughout this music video. And then they throw in this other truth or trope about the black goo, you know, the graphene and the ferrofluid and, you know, the black goo. And this guy gets enveloped by the black goo. And it's got the little spiky parts. Just like ferrofluid and graphene does when exposed to magnetism. And now he's transformed. And she hops on this motorcycle and she's riding it throughout the rest of the uh, music video. And the lightning is striking all around, all throughout the whole music video. And there's some side boobs, so that helps. I got some other things in here. I'll just leave those as Easter eggs. You can watch the music video linked in the description and the pinned comment. Then it starts to associate her with some fire. 
and some lightning as seen in the upper right corner coming down and to the left. And in the upper left. And then she's standing before this burning cross, which is where she was restrained. It's almost like a story about the electricity getting loose and that there's electricity in the atmosphere now. It's no longer restrained to just the power lines. <clears throat> and therefore, electronics don't need to be plugged in anymore. And that appears to be how these little UAP dragons that are doing 2,000 miles an hour that Custodian Files has filmed, and so has Dead Eye Customs, and so have I. I've even captured them in hovering mode in the video plasma powered Thunderbird source video for the first 50 seconds they're just hovering there in the air above me and they appear to be tapped into a free electricity that's in the environment not just going through wires and that's pretty much close to the end of the video And they show this burning line of fire going from that cross over to her motorcycle that she's on, her new vehicle. And that's the end of the video, Riders on the Storm, the new version. Link will be in the description. The new Riders on the Storm. The electrical firestorm. I had a video showing upward lightning, but a guy gave me a copyright strike and they took it down. And it was 17 different windmills. Each one of them simultaneously has upward lightning coming out of them in one of these earth discharges. And if you Google upward lightning, you can see plenty of videos of it. And they say it's the most rare form of lightning, is upward lightning, but it doesn't seem to be rare anymore. And I'm curious if the Washington Monument, the State Capitol Building, and whatever the other, the state, whatever it was, the other national monument that were all struck, quote unquote, struck by lightning, on New Year's Eve, if it all happened in the same minute of time. That would probably make sense. Maybe there was a discharge. But then I also wonder, did it happen at 11.59? If so, that means it's probably intelligently controlled. That's just a question I have. I really haven't looked into it. So they're definitely telling a story here in this music video. The Doors, the new version of Riders on the Storm. This is the very first scene, and you can see her hand is tethered to the power line right there. And it's like the electricity gets loose from the power line and has free range over the earth. And there's this one spot, the whole music video is pretty obscure and occult, but they focus in pretty heavily on Barney's Beanery. No idea what that means. Maybe Yuji Matria people can uh, decode that one or scramble the letters into a anagram or something. Because they zoom in on it right as they go by. There's some sort of meaning. These aren't just images thrown together willy-nilly. They're telling a story using symbolism, and that's one that's outside of my vocabulary. And you can see here it's on the Doors official channel. 1.25 million subscribers put up three years ago. 8.5 million views. And the first comment there in the comment section says, Great song. Terrible imagery. That person doesn't speak symbolism. They don't see the storyline being told. They don't know about plasma fire. Riders on the storm.